Hello everybody! I hope today I won't have problems with my camera. Well, it happened yesterday, so never mind. But I think my coasters um, turned out quite interesting. I will put up a picture on Facebook, so maybe some of you will see these and I don't know what you think. Um, today I will use um, the square mold from Mold and Shapes. I will use colors from Colorberry. There is the pearl, there is the champagne karat and um, the G flakes from the karat series and also those this drizzle, which I really like. Um, I mixed my resin and yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm thinking where I put them in here and I'm thinking of just um, not putting any resin inside but just um, take little flakes in my hand and really drizzle them down. I hope um, it works like this. I will see. If not, I need to put some resin in there. Um, yeah, another cup. I start with the gold. It's really, really nice. And I want to put this outside. Um, by the way, this drizzle, uh, a tiny bit more, because it has a strong effect. Um, this metal drizzle, um, this is um, yeah, like metal color. It's not gold and not really silver. Well, but I think it it, it gives a nice contrast. So. I will see. Um, I go further with the champagne. Then I need maybe a little bit more, like this. And the pearl. I found that these colors from Colorberry, they, they are really good quality. I like them a lot. Just like this. And I also need a cup for my clear later. Um, yeah, let me put these away. Let me get my resin into the cup. I'm gonna go for the white and champagne is half a cup, silver a little bit less, uh, the gold, I'm sorry, because this only gets outside. And half a cup of the clear. We get this mixing. It's really, I, I really like this color. So, so shiny. Mm. This is the champagne. It's also beautiful. So I'm hoping for the square ones I get really nice effects. But I will, I will see. Never did a pour like this in the square coaster mold. So, and the white, also or the pearl, so very nice. not putting more in there. I let them rest a little bit and now I'm really thinking 
option. Now I put I've put some some resin into these metal. I think this is better. Just making a paste out of this. Let me see if I'm still filming. Yes. So I hope it will be fine. I let this rest a little bit so it can thicken up. Give this a good stir. So the mica is not just coming to the top. Let's look at this color. Fantastic. Also this pearl color. So I'm really, really curious how um, like a puddle pour reacts in a square mold. My resin anyway, it's the normal, which I'm always using, the Art Pro from Resin Pro. I'm very happy with this resin. That's why I'm not taking another resin. I'm really very, very satisfied. So. I pinch this and let me go around not too too much yeah I can always put this into the edges this is thick Very, very shimmery. Very nice for the people who like gold and um, pearl and these champagne colors. I think. Anyway, this is enough of this don't want to overdo it just let me get my stick and put this right into <coughs> the edges today was really a lovely day here I went out for a walk we had I guess around about 16 degrees really warm And I noticed this also with the warmth that I always have to consider different waiting times now for my resin when I'm doing the flower technique. <laughs> and it's not pleasant because you know you think, ah, oh, this time I can wait this long, and then you check and your resin is getting warm. Sometimes you know you think, hmm, maybe I start, then the resin is not getting warm. So let me just Take this off and let me put some clear around my gold. It's a really, really nice color and so sparkly. Yeah, I didn't didn't push the gold quite good in. Yeah. I'll leave it like this. Um, let me clean my hands. I go with the champagne in the middle. Can have a little bit more. Maybe this also is enough. 
and I'm gonna use the pearl also push this out a little bit Still not filling up. Maybe I just go a little bit with the champagne where it's not filled. Just a tiny bit. Here it's filled. There's only a little bit. Yeah, like so. And now I, I torch first, hang on. I'm sorry, I forgot my torch, <laughs> but I torch him first. hoping also um, and putting this gold in the edges that I don't have to color my edges because I think maybe it's giving it a good um, sort of frame and put my clear from up high and push this right out wow look at this And also here. These colors are awesome. I still have some clear left and I'm pushing it out a little bit more. But first I'm giving it a torch again. These are really sparkly, but I like this very, very much. Hmm. So push this out further. hope they are almost the same but I really really like I like the gold it's really really nice and I wonder if the gold um, pulls in well I will see this metal in here not too too much less is more I made far 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 too much but maybe I can use it for my later project so I think this is enough because um, I still have some clear. I will push it out a little bit and then so it's not so blobby. See, like. 
like this. Certainly would like this. Maybe I make a bit more. Yeah. Well, here um, the um, champagne is taking over. I'm, I'm really curious how this will turn out. Give it a torch again. And take it down for a close-up. You can see that, that the champagne is really coming from the edges, but I take it down and I wonder what do you think guys? Can you see the shimmer and the sparkle of the gold? This is really beautiful. I like this a lot. And with the metal, you cannot see it so much um, through the camera, but um, the metal reflects also the um, gold a little bit, and I really like it. And look at the effect at the side. It's very, very nice. Okay, I love and leave you, and I see you tomorrow for the unmolding. Bye bye. Hey guys. Um, yeah, I wanted to come back tomorrow, but I thought I show you what the resin did. It's really like a square, and the gold has, you know, is on the top. And I like it that there is just a shimmer of gold at the edges so I guess I won't need to paint them I really really like them so far and I also did these nice effects here and yeah I'm really curious how are they going to turn out? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. Unmolding time. Um, yeah, I really love how they turned out with this um, goldenish shimmer. These are sort of flakes um, from Color Berry. I like it how how um, it went on the top and also a very thin line around the edges. Anyway, let's get them out of the coaster mold. It really goes easy. They're still a little bit soft, so I have to be careful. There's a tiny lip which I will trim off because I didn't want them to be um, to become too big. They're really um, translucent as you can see and I really like them a lot. The back is not very spectacular. <laughs> All the gold, see, it's down here. But I really, really like the front. Um, yeah, get them there. And the next one, yeah. look at the shimmer, and I really, really like that you have the clear center. This is again not very spectacular. Just place it there. I put this aside, get out the next one. They really always pop out very, very easy, which I like. 
and yeah they're pretty much the same of course like i said i i need to trim a little bit the edge off but yeah i'm very satisfied with them i really like the effect there you have the um, sort of champagne. I guess the pearl vanished a little bit. Maybe you see a little bit around here. I guess the pearl is more here. I guess it's more here to see. But here you have the effect, these little, little effects. And I really like that around the edges you see um, this gold yeah i'm happy with them so far um okay i love and leave you and see you for the next video take care and thanks for watching bye bye